So as you saw, you know, the stores were stocked up. Um, I wasn't really able to film that much in Happy Pappies just because it's like a small little store and I kind of felt awkward filming in there. But um, I was able to really show you guys what Toy Kingdom looked like, which I know I talk about that store all the time, but um, I only filmed the Black Series and Vintage Collection section, which if you guys saw how big it was, um, that just goes to show um, how big their collection is. I would have filmed the minifigure wall, but again, there was just so many people there and I just felt kind of awkward filming it. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did pick up. Um, so the first thing I got, which is something that I've been wanting for a while, and they had it at Toy Kingdom, it is the new battle pack. The new Lego battle pack, um, clone, trooper, and droid, and battle droid battle pack. <laughs> so yeah, very, very cool. Um, $30 set here. Um, I think it's a great price. Um, if, if we think back to the Power Force battle pack, which is the same amount of money three years ago, um, you get more, you get more in this, you get more figures at least, um, and you get a stap, you get a speeder, some barricades, spider droid, I think, I don't know what that's called, but yeah, um, so this is one that I wanted to pick up, and they did have a bunch of them at Toy Kingdom, um, so yeah, there's a look at the minifigures, um, I've never had Super Battle Droids before, so that is sick, um, and there's the back. Uh, what I love about this set is, like, the builds are very small. Um, because this is more centered towards a minifigure building um, set. It's not so much, you know, it, like, with the Power Force Battle Pack, you would get a big old ATRT and a big old speeder with it. Um, whereas this, you're really just getting the figures. Like, yeah, you get little stuff, but it's mainly for the figures. So, I think the figures are great. Um, it, it's so cool that we're now getting... Um, like playing phase twos because i remember back in the day with the file first troopers if i wanted to make a plain clone i would have to take a exacto knife and um scrape off all the blue and it was really tedious and i'd do that to make customs or to make plain troopers but now we just got them you know so it's pretty cool so i did end up picking that up i went to toy kingdom second um, but first I went to have Happy Pappies and I went and I, I know I was just there like three weeks ago, but I just wanted to go back one more time because um, there was an entire section that I was not able to look at the first time I went. Uh, and it was the Attack of the Clones wave of figures. Uh, and I actually ended up picking up a few because there were certain things like uh, there, there, I think there was like four things that I was on the lookout for and I was, I was able to find two of them, which is pretty cool. The two that I was not able to find were Asajj Ventress. Um, I've kind of been after Ventress for a while. And especially now that she's coming out in uh, Bad Batch. I feel like her figures are going to go up in, in value. But, you know, Happy Pappies, they did have two Asajj Ventresses. But one was the Clone Wars one. And her skirt, like, somebody had ripped it off. And so it was like, it was like, uh, it, she had, like, glue on her torso. It was weird. So I did not get that one because it was legit broken. And then the other one was her Clone Wars version. But that one was like 25 bucks, And I've seen that one for way cheaper in other places. So I passed on that. And then the other thing I was after was the um, Obi-Wan from the Attack of the Clones wave that came with the bar piece from the Coruscant bar. Because then I could put the bar piece next to my other piece. So anyways, I did not find those two. But I did find two other things I'm on the lookout for. Uh, and then I also picked up a few other things. So... Um, enough yapping, let's just get right into what I picked up. So, the first thing here, um, this is my only, like, loose figure, and it is Dexter Jetster from Dex's Diner. Um, this is sick. So, believe it or not, I've actually seen this figure at Happy Pappy's probably for the past, like, year and a half. Like, I remember, like, the first time I went to the store, I saw this guy, and I thought he was cool. And I wanted to pick him up, but I didn't. And lo and behold, nobody else did, apparently, too, because um, it was still there. So, yeah, um, I think he's cool, though. Uh, any prequel figure I can get, I'll take. And this was one that I definitely had my eye out for. So to finally pick it up, I thought was pretty cool. So here he is, Dexter Jetster from Dexter's Diner, obviously. This is so sick. I mean, this is what I love about 3.75 inch figures. Like Lego, Lego doesn't do this. They they've never made Dexter. This is so detailed. He got his four um, hands or arms that can move. Believe it or not, they can actually move. 
Um, and he does come with some uh, cutlery here. This does this go to? Oh, this is the this is the uh, like the dart thing that he inspects with Obi Wan. So that's very cool. But let's see. Just give him this if he can hold it. Um, oh, my cat's meowing outside my door. Um, yeah, there we go. So he has some cutlery there. I don't know why he comes with this, this, uh, electric thing, but he does, I guess. So let's let my cat in. Hi, you, you. Um, but yeah, I think that this figure's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, he was seven, seven bucks for a De Dexter, Jetster, or whatever he's called. Let me just move this back a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we picked him up. Oh, he's so cool. That's sick. I mean, he looks like a, like a old, uh, you know, fast food worker, but in Star Wars, which is cool. Um, I actually just watched a, uh, breakdown video of all the alien species and how they were designed. And one of the cool things about Star Wars that you don't even realize is, like, you don't even really care that somebody's an alien. Like, you'll be, um... But like Yoda, you don't, you kind of just think of him as like an old man. You don't really think of him as like an alien. Um, and it's because they were able to like make him so human sort of, even though they're alien. Which I just think is kind of cool. Anyways, the next thing we got, um, or, or the rest of what we got was sealed stuff. So, I'm just going to show you guys what I got and then I'll be opening it. So, here we have this um, Attack of the Clones wave. So whenever I say Attack of the Clones Wave, I'm talking about like this style packaging. So the first time I went here um, to the store, I just didn't even, I wasn't even able to look at all this because they had so much of it and they had so much other figures that I just completely skipped over all this crap. Um, but I love this wave because they have such good prequel figs. So I was able to pick up this, which I actually just watched a review on. Um, so I was pretty happy to pick this up. Um, Yoda and Cheyenne, maybe is how you say that. But obviously he's a little Padawan, and then we got a floating Yoda there. Um, whenever I went to Apple Jacks last week, I did pick up Ashla, who is a Padawan. So I thought that giving me this Padawan would be nice. Um, and also, I do want to say I was able to get every everything that I got here at, at Happy Pappies. I got for forty five dollars, which is a pretty good deal considering. Actually, it's an incredible deal because you'd, you'd probably end up spending um, double that, if not a hundred bucks, on um, eBay. But it would have been 50 bucks, but they always give me a discount. Like the last time I went there, they gave me $25 off because I got more stuff. This time they gave me a $5 discount. It's just, I, I love the store. So anyways, the next thing I got, um, this was something that I was going to pick up last week at Apple Jacks. Again, I just didn't, but I got it for the same price, but it was sealed. And it is uh, Tan Wee from obviously Attack of the Clones. Um, yeah, so I, I have Lama Sue. So I kind of wanted to get Tan Wee. Also, she's in the Bad Batch and stuff, so I just think she's cool. And she does come with a, um, what is this called? A clone chamber. So yeah, very nice. Um, so this was one of the things that I was after. Like I said, I told you guys I was after four things. Um, this was one of the things I was after, and they had it. And it is Zam Wessel. So yeah, Zam Wessel. Um, first of all, I think she's really cool. Um, obviously, you know, she has epic out, she has an epic outfit. Um, she didn't play a huge role in the movie, but she's kind of like a fan favorite. Uh, and she's a Claudite, which is a species that can, um, try to make themselves look like, um, anything. They can kind of disguise themselves. So she, like, whenever I was younger, I used to think that she was a human that could turn into a Claudite, but it's actually that she's a Claudite disguised as a human. So anyways, my grandma did have this in her collection, but... Um, the arm is magnetic, and mine doesn't have an arm, so I got this one. Uh, I think I got it for pretty cheap. $9 sealed, so it's not bad at all. And the last thing I got, which I get, which was one of the four things that I was also after, um, was this droid R4G9. Not this specific droid. I was just kind of after any um, unit that was a dome shape, because I know that some of the R4... 4, R2, RH, whatever units have dome shapes. Um, and I needed one more of these, um, or, or not, not dome, some of them have cone heads. And I don't want a cone head, I wanted a dome head. Um, and I didn't have another one because my Kit Fisto Starfighter is currently using a dome head and I don't like how it looks. 
or a cone head and I wanted a dome head. <laughs> um, but Kit Fisto's, um, uh, what's it called? Droid is really hard to find. So, um, in order to kind of try to find a replacement, um, I got this one, which, um, sort of looks like Kit Fisto's because Kit Fisto's has like an orange head and this one's bronze. So, you know, it does the job well. So, you know, here's an overview of everything I got sealed, and I'm going to go ahead and open them up. I'm going to open up this astromech. Um, so this is R4G9. So he was the, or she actually, I forgot it's she. She was the droid given to Obi-Wan to go to, I believe it was Utapau. Yes. So um, R4P17, which is Obi-Wan's main droid, basically got exploded um, in Coruscant. Like, he... he got destroyed or she actually um she got destroyed and so he had to have a replacement droid and so as a replacement he was given um uh, this droid which used to be Alo Securus droid or it it was Alo Securus droid um so she lended it to him and then I believe Anakin ended up fixing up um R4P17 so this was just Obi-Wan's droid for a minute. There we go. These, this kind of packaging is so hard to open. But here he is. Uh, most of the time these come with little stands, but she came with this thing. It looks like she's like exploding planet Earth. I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, last week I did pick up R4P17. Obviously for Obi-Wan Starfighter. Um, she also comes with one of these. Oh, this is actually different. Okay, so that this is whenever the, the Tardigovsky Clone Wars was coming out. Um, this was what was in that wave. Dion Menden is pretty cool. I, I saw him there. And in the back here, it looks like it was all these galactic heroes that they were trying to promote. Pretty cool. I had Anakin's lightsaber. Um, but yeah, it's pretty neat. So... Um, yeah, so here she is. I mean, I pretty much know how this works now. In my last video, I, I did not know how this works, but basically you twist their heads and the bottom goes down. I like her design though. She is a cool, um, astromech. She has like the, the orange eye, orange chop there. You know, she's, uh, she got some metallic detailing and stuff. Um, but while I was there, I did see that they did have the Clone Wars version of Ahsoka Starfighter in the 3.75 inch scale, 100% complete with Ahsoka and her droid as well. It had the missiles and everything for 85 bucks. That is a steal. I could have got it. Um, I had the money and everything, but I did not because A, I wanted to get these figures and B, um, I already have obviously... I have three of the Starfighters, and it's just a reskin, pretty much. Um, it would be really cool to get, though. I do want to figure out how this attaches. I don't really see anywhere where this would attach. Um, so I did pass on it, but next time I go, if they do have it, I will pick it up. Because that is just such a good steal. I mean, if you look on um, on eBay, you you end up paying 120 bucks for the Starfighter Broken. Um, just because Ahsoka got so popular in the last couple of years. But I am going to go ahead and put this robot into uh, Kit Fisto's Star Powder. So let's get this down. So yeah, last time I went there, I was able to get this Star Powder for 15 bucks with um, Kit Fisto in it. Yeah, so here it is. Obviously, we got a cone head in there, with the, which is a big no-no. We're going to take the cone head out and put the Astro in um, the Astromech. It's going to be a little bit hard. How am I going to pop this open? Do I have to, like, actually try to pull this guy out? Okay. Oh, I got scared I was going to break it or something. Okay. Yeah, so we had this cone head in there just for the time being. And then let's put this girl in here. And I'm saying girl because um, I did look it up. And droids are either feminine or masculine. And this was a feminine droid. 
so I'm calling it a she. But there he is, or <laughs> there she is. Um, pretty cool. I like that way better. That looks way, way better. And for those of you wondering what it looks like, here he is on the wall next to my other Starfighters. Um, yeah, I think that looks really cool. I like that now they all have dome heads, not comb heads, or cone heads. Um, and yeah, even though that is technically not Kit Fisto's uh, droid, it does look a lot like his droid, uh, which is good because his droid is actually really expensive. So I am happy with that. All right, so taking a look at the first figure, I decided to open her off camera just because these older packaging are sometimes harder to open um just because they've been sealed for so long uh, but here she is ton we obviously from attack of the clones and also bad batch um but she does look different in the bad batch um very cool i do have uh lama Su, which is the male version of the kaminoan um and yeah you know she's pretty cool um they're very lanky very tall um like for comparison here's her next to dexter uh, very different body types. Um, but that's what I love about Star Wars is just how different all the characters are. Here she is up close. She has her classic blue and white um, gown situation. Kind of looks like something Padme would wear. <laughs> um, but the thing is, um, her legs are not... Or her, her skirt comes down longer than her legs. So, girl does not want to stand. Um... Like, I keep on trying to find, like, ways to try to, like, balance her, but she just is moving forward, so, yeah, and, like, her legs, they can't bend or anything, so I'm probably going to have to have her lean, but she also does come with this clone, um, like, like, this is how they cloned them, like, they would be cloned in these little capsules, and in the movie, there was, like, millions and millions of these capsules, um, so, yeah, you know, who knows, maybe Omega was in this one, Omega, you know, but yeah, so there is Tan Wee. Um, and I did go ahead and open up all the figures already. So we will take a look at um, the Padawan and Obi-Wan 2-pack. So yeah, like I said, I had just watched a review on these two um, uh, a couple days ago. And yeah, I found them for like 13 bucks, which I actually ended up getting them for like $8 because of the discount I got. Um, and I did also want to pick it up because I also got Ashla, obviously, like I, um, showed in my last haul. Um, so to get this guy, it's pretty cool. I believe his name is Cheyenne, and I am assuming he's a male just because I feel like he looks like one. But he is pretty cool. I think these younglings are pretty cute. I know there's a lot of memes about younglings getting slaughtered, but they're, they're cute little dudes. Um, 2003. 2003, pretty cool. Um, and I do, I do like these younglings robes. They're pretty cute. Again, um, yeah, his helmet can come off. I believe he is a Nikto um, species. I believe so. And then there's his little training helmet, which actually fits really well. And he does have his blue light lightsaber, which you can remove. I just don't really want to right now. I might move his arm down though. He really should not be holding the blade of the lightsaber. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's literally gripping, like, the blade. Um, okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, we'll put it like that. So there he is, pretty cute. And then we have Yoda, which I did not know that he was not connected. I thought he was connected to this little um, floating seat. Two thousand three as well. I thought he was connected to that. And he's not, which makes this so much more worth it because my Yoda does not have a leg. He's missing a leg, and this one is not. So I'm actually very glad I got this now. Um, so here's this Yoda. He has his robe, obviously. Here's his face. Got the little green lightsaber. I mean, dude, Yoda is shorter than, than the younglings. That's nuts. Yoda is a small dude. Um, here's his little cane he comes with. So yeah, you know, he comes with his, with his accessories and stuff. Um, I do like to have him sit down, though, on this because of the way that the cape is sort of molded to fit the outer edge of the seat. But yeah, so I will be putting these guys in, in the display. Very, very cool. I, I really like that little young one. But that is that. 
and obviously the last thing we have to show is the girl herself this is ham wessel um so like i said earlier i do have a ham wessel already um but actually let me just grab it real quick because it is right behind me um basically her arm has a feature where you can uh, make it come off um, as you can see this one definitely made it come off um oh geez i'm like looking at this one i'm like why is i feel like on this one her thing is really pulled back so i actually am really glad i got a new one because it seems like this one's just kind of broken up um but for reference this is what she looks like whenever you put um her claudite version on the one came with my new one obviously um but yeah, I think it's a pretty cool play feature actually though, because I know that on the vintage collection figure of her, um, you had the head swap if you wanted her to be a Claudite. And the issue was her neck was not green with the Claudite face. So it was like a green head with a white neck and it just it just didn't look, look right. But the good thing about this, um, which is crazy because this is actually the older design, but it works better, um, is that the the neck comes down far enough to where it's able to cover her neck um, so it looks like she's actually the species so that is pretty cool so honestly like this version could be like her whenever she like gets caught by obi-wan and he cuts her arm off and everything and then this version is her disguised as a human version um, but yeah I, I think it's a great figure and i honestly like it better than the vintage collection one again just because the um well i think it's more detailed um but also or and i like its stance too with like the um the cape in the back like moving and stuff um but yeah it's pretty cool um she has whatever this is you know where's the back here on the back she has this peg because you're supposed to be able to like fling her arm up so then everyone can chop it off um and it is connected her arm is connected by a um, magnet i'm not going to take it off though because it is kind of old and the magnet has like this weird uh film on it and i did clean it off but it does kind of come back so i'm just going to keep it on for the best or uh, it's just best to keep it on there's her face i think it's a pretty good sam wessel face i'm not gonna lie this figure i feel like was just ahead of his time um all around um and i do really like it here's her little holster which she has a gun that you can come out of yeah, I am happy that I found this. So, yeah, and again, she also did come with a claw light head, but I'm going to display her um, with her human form. So, yeah, that is basically it. Um, that was my haul from Happy Pappies and Toy Kingdom um, from yesterday. Um, really, really cool stuff. Um, again, I was able to find some stuff that I um, was after, that being the Astromech and um Zam Wessel um I'm still gonna keep my eyes peeled for an Asajj Ventress but I do want to save up my money so I can um or I I'm I've been I'm I'm I've been selling um things on eBay and with that money I'm going to take it and um like like I'm selling stuff for my collection not Star Wars necessarily more wrestling but I'm gonna put it back in um, like kind of getting rid of stuff I don't need, um, so I can, you know, continue collecting and stuff. So I am going to um, be saving for a bit and then eventually I will probably go back to Happy Pappies. And if they do have, um, a so or Ahsoka Starfighter still, um, cause I think I mentioned earlier that, um, they did have Ahsoka's Clone Wars Starfighter, um, that was only 85 bucks and it was complete with her droid and her, um, which is a complete and total steal. I didn't get it though because I wanted to get these figures in the battle pack. Um, but if I do go back and they have it, I will pick it up. But they probably won't because it's such a good steal. But yeah, so again, like I said, first time getting Lego in a while, which is pretty, pretty cool. I might honestly keep that sealed because as you guys know, I have been keeping my Lego sealed just because um, it's easier to keep track of that way. And whenever I eventually, you know, get my own place, which is going to be in a very long time. I mean, minimum six years from now um like minimum but whenever that eventually does happen i will have the stuff sealed and it'll just be easier to transport so i'm kind of just thinking ahead in that way so i don't know i might open it though just because it's it's mainly just the minifigures um but yeah and then i'm gonna have to add these minifigs into the collection which or into the, to the display 
which the top is getting pretty crammed and I do have an extra um, floor done there. So I might just move everything down a bit and make that shelf um, a 3.75 inch um, shelf, which will be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I do love coming across all these incredible prequel characters because there are so many 3.75 inch characters from Star Wars that have been made. I mean, just think about any random character and I guarantee they've made it in the 3.75 inch scale for Star Wars, which is why I love it. Because um, I mean, if you think about it with Lego, we really don't get that diverse of stuff. There's kind of like a cycle of ships that they kind of rotate and make new ones every 10 years. But whenever it comes to Lego, we, or to um, figures like this, especially the ones from the early 2000s, um, in the, in the early 2010s, we we got everything, which is just so, so cool. So I love stores like Happy Pappies. And yeah, so if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.